Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Pokesu Channel and the Guitar Ladder System. You can order the Guitar Ladder System at stevezookguitars.com for only $1.99. It's thousands of dollars of information, a very innovative system that will wake up your musical ear, shave years off your progress, and help you reach a level of understanding music on a subconscious level you'll never get to without it. It's really true. It will help you discover your own unique musical point of view. Hey, today I'm, I'm showing, I really love guitars that you can buy that have a lot of vibe and a lot of sound, a lot of tone, a lot of mojo that aren't thousands and thousands of dollars. <coughs> I've owned a lot of high-end guitars, cheap guitars, middle-of-the-road guitars. Uh, I kind of got into these Garcia guitars about a year ago. I've got four of them. I'm probably going to let them go, but they're really interesting sounding guitars. Uh, the wood comes from all over the world and then, and then they put them together in Japan. I happen to really dig the ones with the, the flame maple on the back, but I thought I'd let you hear all four of them. So it's going to be a little bit of a funky video, but it uh, should be kind of interesting. Um, I, I used to play nylon string mostly with fingers. Now I do a lot with pick because I find it really helps bring out the tone. This is a... This one is the, um, I think it's called the number, the, yeah, the number two, which is one of the ones I really like a lot, because I, I, I love how this looks on my wall, just staring at that flame maple. But I think the flame maple also gives it a certain pop and a certain uh, mid, mid range and treble, you know, boost and tone. I really like it. I'm in a flamenco tune. <laughs> I've owned a lot of nylon strings of all different prices, and there's something very special about the Garcias. I kind of call them the Yamaha FG180 of nylon string guitars, but they do vary from guitar to guitar. <laughs> C is made, you know, in the 70s. Uh, it's called Model 2, which the models don't have to do with quality. They have to do with the wood used in the back. So this is the Model 2. Really, I love the sound of this guitar. Too early for that chord. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, I'm going to do all four of them here. Okay, that's that one. Then we have... Um, this one. Now this one is made in 19... It's kind of hard to read this. I think it's 1969. And this this is a... Uh, see, that, but see, this the, the, the models are different in the 70s and 60s. So this one's also called Model 2. But the Model 2 in the 70s has a flame back. This obviously doesn't have a flame maple back. But this one, this one's, this one, the label's a little bit different. It says Federico Garcia, number two, made in 1969 in Madrid. I'm in the same tune. guitars too so I can just tell by playing like for instance this one hasn't been played as much as some of the other ones so when you play a guitar that you buy uh, you know after you know 10 15 hours they start to open up even more and I find if it hasn't been played a lot you're looking at about 30 hours kind of like a high quality audiophile speaker 30 or 40 hours to wake up but yeah this one really has a nice sound too uh,
But anyway, I'm going to do... So this is a 1969. This, this label's a little bit different. It says Federico Garcia, uh, 1969, made in Madrid. The other ones have kind of a big label that show you where the word, the wood comes from all over the world. Like, you know, this comes from this part of the world and this comes from this part of the world from the 70s. So that's kind of cool, I think. <laughs> different back as you can tell. Alrighty. Now the next one is, this one's got a really cool back on it. It's kind of got some high, I'm not sure you can see that, some highly figured mahogany. Uh, it, it kind of pops different angles that you have the guitar. Now this one is a 1965. It also says Federico Garcia. It doesn't have the big huge label that shows where the wood comes from all over the world. This is a 65. It says Madrid. Um, this has got some kind of interesting wood on the back. I'm not sure if you can see that. It, like I said, the wood tends to change depending on the angle that you're looking at. But this one's made in 65. And uh, it's been kind of fun having these different ones, you know. <laughs> Garcia guitars is you got to put some power into them. If you put some power into the guitar Garcias, man, they just sing. I, I bought one one Garcia from actually a pawn shop, which I normally don't buy, you know, from too many pawn shops, because most of them nowadays want a fortune or everything. But I bought a guitar, and the and the guy that that worked at the shop was playing it from about forty feet away, and he was putting some muscle into it. And man, the thing was just punching. It was really projecting, and. Uh, Part of that is the old wood, and then also the Japanese know a lot of secrets about how to put guitars together. So, uh, yeah, you got if you use some power, these Gar Garcias. Uh so that's that one. I just love the back on this one, and then the last one is probably probably the roughest one. Uh, it's got a couple of little things that were that were fixed on the top, little imperfections. But it really, it, this one has kind of a the soul of Andalusia, which is where you know the big you know flamenco kind of came from Andalusia. A lot of the great flamenco players lived in Andalusia in Spain. This one has a, just really has a, They all sound great to my ear. Sometimes I think I prefer this one. Got it.
this one this one is is a number this one has the label that it's a little bit different than, than one of the other big labels but it kind of has a lot of stuff written on it and uh, this one says concert guitar number two that's kind of interesting concert guitar number two and you know the Japanese who, who they all this wood mostly these the wood came from all over the different places of the wood of the world and they put it together in Japan and Japan has known secrets of making guitars for many 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 years and they, they can make a guitar out of anything and it sounds unbelievable but yeah I really love the sound of this one Really has a neat sound, and of course, like I said, these '70s number twos. Most of '70s number twos have the flame maple back, which I just think looks un freaking real. Love looking at it on my wall, and I love the sound of these guitars. I really do. Like I said, you got to put a little more muscle into it. Some of them you need to play them for 20, 25 hours to open them up if they haven't been played. This one's got a couple dings on the back, and like I said, it's got had a couple little, little. You can see somebody kind of. Uh, made a couple places where there was probably a couple bigger dings kind of disappear but you can see a big open thing kind of a big big finish thing where the finish is a little bit lighter but this guitar sounds unbelievable <laughs> performance just I haven't seen anybody else on YouTube show these I'll probably sell mine I'm gonna really miss them hardest chord I do in nylon string but it resolves really nice with it just so you can see that if you want you have to bar these three yeah, this guitar really has a tone. I, all my Garcias sound really cool. Uh, just when I start to think I, I like one over the other, I'll play another, pick another one up and notice how it's just a little bit different voicing. You know, every guitar is a little unique. That's what you need to learn about guitars. But yeah. Uh, some of these Garcias really have an interesting, interesting tone. Anyway, I'll, I better cool this so I can upload it. There's a certain growl there. And of course they sound great with, with your fingers, but you gotta, like I said, you have to have a little technique to bring out the tone of these Garcias. interesting this voicing like anyway I love them all, and uh, they're really an interesting guitar. But uh, this, I just love the flame back on these. All right, folks, take care. The tuning I'm using is F. Uh, the G string becomes an F sharp, and the low E becomes a D. I, I'm really into that tuning. You can find some really, 
really neat soulful chords. I think it brings out the brings out the Andalusia, you know, Spanish flamenco vibe, you know. But yeah, these are cool. All right, folks, take care. Bye bye. If you want to order the guitar ladder system, I highly suggest it. One ninety nine, you're going to make a quantum leap. It really it see it will seed your subconscious mind and wake up the composer and artist within. Order at stevezookguitars.com. stevezookguitars.com. You do not have to be a member of PayPal. You can just pay by any debit or credit card. It's going to really work. If, if you really love guitar and you love music, invest the one ninety nine. It's going to take you on a on a journey uh, of self-discovery. All right, folks, take care.